right, this guitar here is my oldest guitar. I bought this when I was in high school. That is a Martin D18. It's about, uh, I think, between 60 and 70 years old now. And uh, it's, it sounds better than the day I bought it. And uh, see, and uh, <laughs> still in tune. That is my flagship guitar. You can actually see where the the the, uh, the neck has a little indention in it from all the playing I've done on it. It was sitting in uh, a bank. Uh, it was reclaimed from somebody who took a loan for it and didn't make the payments. So somehow the bank manager ended up with it sitting in his office in a hard shell case. I was very young, but I knew about Martin guitars. I said, You've got a Martin guitar? He said, no, it's somebody said, uh, got a loan for it and didn't make the payment, so it's here. I bought it for $400. My dad loaned it to me and I paid my dad back. So I've had this ever since I was a kid and it's a magnificent instrument. It, they're kind of like the Stradivarius of the acoustic guitar world. They're, they're just wonderful guitars. So anyway, um, I wanted a, an appropriate portrait of that. So this is my Dart Martin D18, my interpretation of it, it's portrait. So this guitar, uh, this, uh, I knew this, <laughs> this painting was going to get in a fourth Friday's art show. So this star up here and the ivy are from the Starline building, as well as the brick and the ivy. This is from the fourth Friday show, show that uh, I presumed this would be in that show, so I incorporated it into the painting. Now, the, uh, uh, to me, an acoustic Martin guitar is a world instrument. You see them all over the world. They're famous everywhere. You'll see country stars playing these old guitars just like this. They're still uh, considered one of the best instruments you can buy. So, that world theme, I have the globe behind this window, which is also from the star line. So I actually used uh, several elements of the star line gallery in there. So the world appears in here. It also appears inside the guitar. So I thought that was an interesting dynamic. Um, at this time, uh, I was just really beginning to get into birds. And so I incorporated hummingbirds into here because the sound, you can do amazing things with an acoustic guitar in the right hands. I'm not saying I have those hands. I would aspire to be uh, good someday, but I'm an artist first, a guitarist fifth. So I incorporated the hummingbirds. Um, the rose just has to do with just the beauty of the instrument. Um, it's elegant, it's simple, and I, a rose came to mind. So that's how that all came together. So it's about one third Starline Gallery, uh, a third of world, and a third nature. And that's the balance I was looking for. I was real happy with this. This is the pick mounted on my mat that I typically use when I play the guitar. So that's how that happened.